Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Sarah and I am a stained glass artist. When I'm making a piece of stained glass, I think the prettiest part of the process is right after I'm done foiling it when everything's all covered and outlined and beautiful. And on one of my previous videos where I showed you how to make like soldered crystal pendants, I got a lot of questions on how to make that silver solder look copper. So I am going to show you how to get a super duper shiny patina on soldered projects. For this example, I'm going to be using the stained glass leaf that I made, but you can use this process on anything that's soldered. So if you made a crystal pendant, a bone pendant, a piece of stained glass, whatever you want, this will work. So let me show you some of the stuff you'll need for this project. Um, as always, I'm going to go over safety because safety is very important. Patina is a really dangerous chemical. So you're going to need some gloves. You're going to need safety glasses. You are going to need a respirator. Um, you don't need one that this intense. You can use um, like an N95, that should work. And you will need a surface to patina on that you can throw away afterwards so you don't get it on a surface that your skin will come in contact to in the future. For the actual patina, you'll need obviously your copper patina. Obviously my bottle is <laughs> really worn out and almost empty. <clears throat> Same with polish. This is stained glass polish. Um, we're going to be polishing our piece. You will need a towel. I just have like a cheap dish towel. You can use a washcloth, a microfiber cloth, um, whatever you want. Obviously you'll need your piece that you're going to patina. And for copper patina specifically, you will need an old toothbrush. I mean, you could use a new toothbrush. I buy them in big packs so I can destroy them and not feel bad about it. I am just going to mention that this process works best on 60-40 solder. It also works pretty well on what I use for jewelry, which is called Silver Gleam, uh, which is lead-free solder. So keep that in mind. If you're using something different, you might not get the same results. One more thing I am going to mention is if you have quick clean, this will help also. It is not necessary. I don't use it all the time, but if you have it, you can use it. Okay, to start out, I have my soldered leaf. It has been washed with hot water, soap, and a gentle dish sponge. You're gonna want your solder as clean as you can possibly get it prior to polishing and patina, patina eating. And let me zoom in so I can show you the actual process of patina in this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is put your gloves on. Polish isn't bad to get on your skin, but it is kind of annoying, so I just put them on now. It helps with the mess. You're also gonna wanna put your safety glasses on now, just in case for some reason your stained glass breaks or something flies off. Grab your polish and whatever kind of towel you're using to do your polishing. I like to use my towel as a work surface while I polish. Make sure you give your bottle a really good shake before you start to get all the solids mixed back in. You can either dump some on the towel and rub it on your piece or dump the polish directly onto your stained glass piece and rub it around. Make sure you get polished on all the solder lines, all the glass, as well as the edges. Any dirt you see on the towel like this is oxidation coming off those solder lines. To get this solder as clean as humanly possible so the patina takes very smoothly. Again, make sure you get all the edges. Any spots you miss will be noticeable once we patina. Once you're happy with the layer of polish you have on your piece, you're gonna wait for it to dry completely. You'll know it's dry because it'll turn cloudy and if you're not wearing gloves, you can touch it and it'll feel kind of chalky. Dry time for polish like this, if it's on really thin, could be anywhere from like five <coughs> to 10 minutes, but if you put it on really thick, it could take an hour or a couple of hours. So keep that in mind. Now you're gonna take a clean corner of your towel and just buff off all of that polish. More oxidation will come off, but just keep buffing until the towel comes back mostly clean. You need to get a lot of oxidation off, you're gonna to wanna to periodically move to a clean part of the towel and continue buffing. So once you're done with all of your buffing, you're going to want to immediately go to patina. Don't let your piece sit because it'll create more oxidation. 
and now's when you're going to want to put your respirator on and put down your surface you can throw away. Take your patina. I like to put a little bit in the cap to make it easier to dip into. Get your toothbrush, dip the toothbrush in the patina and start scrubbing those solder lines. For junctions like this, I like to use little circular motions and then for the edge, I use a back and forth scrubbing motion. And you can already see how pretty and coppery it is. Now just keep scrubbing until there's no silver solder left. When you're happy with how copper everything is, take a paper towel and dab up the extra patina that's on the piece. So this is the step that makes it really, really shiny. We're going to polish it again. I use the same towel I used before with the same polish that's still kind of damp and do a really light polish over all of that copper solder. I'll also go in with a little bamboo skewer to get really close to those solder lines to make sure there's no residue. Okay, so here is how our finished project turned out. You can't, there, you can kind of see it. It's way more copper and way shinier in person. The video doesn't really like translate it well. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I also post a bunch of stained glass content over on my TikTok channel. If you want to follow me there, it's at Sparkle Garbage. If you want more stained glass content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye.